This is Marajo, a true adventure. This is a food that they eat quite a bit here on the island of Marajo. These are the worm's teeth. Look how huge that one is. <laughs> First time for everything, this is Turu. Okay, we just got to the shore near the fishing village. We are gonna go looking for Tulu. If you don't know what that is, we didn't either. We're about to show you. Okay, we're putting some life jackets on and we are getting on one of these boats. Apparently it's not too far of a ride. <laughs> it's gonna be about 10 minutes and this little doggy is not coming with us, but we wish. This is Marajo, a true adventure. Walking through the jungle in our feet. Didn't think this was coming. <laughs> I've never been in a forest like this. This is beautiful and scary at the same time. <laughs> How cool is this? We are 100% in nature right now. Stepping on it, no shoes to keep us separate from it. The clay feels good on your feet. A little, kind of a little trail through these mangroves. We are in the mangroves. So this tree fell down naturally after around 80 years standing. It falls down usually between the winter and the summer months. And after it has fallen for two years, then the Turu start to eat it. And that's when you can find them. And that's what we're about to do. Finding the Turu in this fallen tree. This is a food that they eat quite a bit here on the island of Marajo and a little bit in Belém. An Amazon worm. Wow, there they are. Oh, there they are. Wow, there are like three or four in there, that one piece. Now he's cutting a little piece of the tree that he's gonna take for us where we can more easily access it and see this thing close up. As you can see, this actually requires quite a bit of strength and effort getting that ax into the tree to uncover these worms. This is a piece of the wood. It is extremely hard and sharp. Whoa. Mm -hmm. It's like a blade. It's like glass yeah. or something. You could 
that of so fish with that. <laughs> the turu is too strong enough to eat it. The worm is, can eat this, they have teeth, and they use that to eat this wood. Wow. Yeah, I smell it. They have a smell, right? Is that the wood or the worm? It's here, in the corner. Ela disse que está sentindo o cheiro, o cheiro é da madeira ou é do A casca é da madeira. Oh. 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 Oh
That is a consistency I've never had in anything. What is it? Explain it. Is it gritty? It is good. Mostly you get the lime flavor that they put into it, and besides that, it's like the texture. There's not a ton of flavor to the Turu, at least not that I detect. It's more durable than I thought it would be. It takes a little bit if you were to chew it and like chew it in pieces. It kind of stays together. So yeah, let's see what Lindsay thinks. I tried to pick a little one just to start. All right, let's go. Hmm. That's good. Yeah, it's like, it tastes kind of like a, almost like a raw fish, the consistency. Like Amazonian sushi. I couldn't chew it all the way, so I'm just swallowing it. But the lime and salt is what you mainly taste. So it's, yeah, like Alex said, mainly just the consistency. I actually liked that better than I thought. You want to finish it off? The bowl? Mm -hmm. That's how you take it. So no, this is okay. mom, dad, and son. Yeah. And this gets passed on from generation to generation. They teach each other how to keep getting the churro worm. They said they would eat this every day if they could. It gives you strength, helps your brain, and has calcium, all sorts of benefits. Makes your mind strong. So you can drink the broth as well, and they're saying there's a ton of protein in there. Now you take the kitchen back. <laughs> heading back now. That was an amazing experience. Neither of us have done anything like that before. Wow. Truly memorable. Yes. People have asked me all the time, what's the most interesting, unique, or crazy food that I've tried in the world? And uh, I think I have a new answer. <laughs> This is nice. <laughs> okay, we're good now. Yeah, so just like hold it and bite the top. Yeah, but I'm you, gonna you make bite. A mess. Oh. Yeah. This bag right here is Budo Sea juice with coconut milk. Ciao. 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 <laughs> Look at this bike, one of the most interesting bikes I've seen. This bicycle has no tires, no seat, but they use it somehow. Dinner in the Amazon tonight. This is beautiful. Before. Before we got here, I found a frog in my room and I was freaking out, so hopefully no frogs jump on me out here. Beautiful setting for a dinner. We're starting off with some kaja or taperipa juice, as the locals know it as. We are eating the most seafood in Brazil that we've ever had here in Paris State. First, we are served some crab meat on a bed of lettuce with farofa, of course, to add that crunchy texture. Fresh crab meat. So good.
precisa, não quer trocar, você tá aqui. Não, posso ficar não. com o mesmo, com certeza. Absoluto, obrigada. The buffalo is a big part of Marajo's culture here. This is a crazy sensation. So as you guys know, we put out videos on YouTube, we put out as much content as we can, but we can't put out everything on YouTube. We also have shorter video clips and photos that we can't put here. So if you want to see more, follow us on Instagram. Lindsay Travel Bum and Alexander Travel Bum. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these. And subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with you.